Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. I'm Lawrence and today our devotional is called An Ongoing War. Sorry for the poor quality of my voice because a few days ago I, I caught cold. But the quality of my voice doesn't matter. What matters is the message. So this morning, our devotional is taken from the book of Galatians. So if you have a Bible, kindly flip with me to the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. And it reads, 16, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. 17, For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit. And the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. 18. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now, let's go straightly into our devotional. In AD 711, the Muslim forces of the Umayyad Caliphate swept into Spain. In a series of battles, they defeated the rulers and made Spain an Islamic nation. A few years later, a battle to drive them out of the country began. It was not a quick or easy process. What is known what is now known by historians as the Reconquista lasted until 1492, nearly 800 years. It is generally regarded as the longest war in human history. Yet, even that lengthy conflict pales in comparison to the war between the flesh and the spirit. That one has been raging ever since Adam and Eve were driven out of the Garden of Eden. There are two key principles to understanding this conflict. The first is that everyone is controlled by one or the other. There are no neutral parties. There are no exceptions. Though it is a common philosophy in our day, there are no independent operators or moral free agents. All of us are under the direction and influence of God or Satan. The second is that we cannot split the difference. We don't have the option of being partially with the spirit and partially with the flesh. No. Jesus warned no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. And this is our reference here is, 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 is in Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. And mammon. The victorious Christian life can only be lived in submission to the Holy Spirit of God. Unless we are willing to yield to Him, we are condemning ourselves to living under the control of the lust of the flesh. Today's growth principle, as we yield ourselves to the power of the Holy Spirit and His control, He gives us victory in the Christian life. Wow. So what I do understand about today's devotional is that as Christians, we cannot divorce this war from our normal Christian life. This war will always, will always exist. It's an ongoing war. It will always exist. But it's up to us as believers to remain focused on serving our Father, because Jesus has already already told us, He has already given us given us this warning that no man can serve two masters. It's not possible. 
is not possible. You cannot love two, two persons equally. No way. So all we need to do is to remain focused and resist the temptation of the devil. Let us not dwell on the things of the flesh. Let us prioritize the spirit over the flesh. Because the Bible says, the, the spirit is always willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So, as Christians, all we need to do is to remain focused and serve our Father only. Because our God is a jealous God. He said, we are required to serve Him and only Him, but no one else. We should serve, we should serve no one else but our Father in heaven, our Creator. So, this is our devotional for today. Let's bow. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we tell you thank you for today. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we pray that you give us the courage to resist the devil, to serve you and only you at all times. In Jesus' name, amen.